Through surveys, it has been revealed that every year 9.2 million young children and 5,36,000 mothers die during pregnancy and childbirth while approximately 76 million unintended pregnancies occur worldwide. This clearly states the importance and need of family planning. This presentation covers family planning in India programs importance and its impact. It has been observed that at least 200 million women want to implement safe family planning methods but due to lack of genuine information and services out of 190 million approximately 50 million women who become pregnant undergo abortions. Recently in 21st century family planning is taken as one of the great public health achievements. The availability of family planning services and programs allow individuals to attain achieve appropriate family size and birth spacing. It contributes to improved or enhanced health outcomes for women, families and children. The Planning Commission and the Department of Family Welfare have been laying down targets for health and family welfare activities and for demographic indicators. Over the years, there has been a progressive improvement in the achievement of most of these because the targets set were realistic and necessary inputs were provided for their achievement. Importance and Purpose of Family Planning Family planning is the planning of when to have children and the use of birth control and other techniques to implement such plans. Purpose of Family Planning Raising a child requires significant amounts of resources, time, social, financial and environmental. Planning can help assure that resources are available. To improve the health of the mother and the child and helping to prevent HIV or AIDS. Basics of Family Planning Voluntary Planning and Action to Delay, Prevent or Achieve Pregnancy in a Controlled Pattern Family Planning Programs and Services comprises of screening and laboratory tests, learning about use of pregnancy controlling methods, counseling and education to attain desired number of children considering the timing and spacing of births. Avoid the birth of first child till the age of mother is 21 years. There must be a gap of at least 3 years between pregnancies. Limiting Family Size Family planning saves lives and reduces the incidences of unintended pregnancies, often interpreted as unwanted birth. Instead, it means mistimed or undesirable pregnancy at the time of conception. Unintended or unwanted pregnancies are often accompanied with negative health effects such as low birth weight, maternal depression, marital dissolution, spouse abuse, child abuse, economic hardship, poor child health and development which gives rise to the need of spreading awareness about family planning. It helps to promote woman's ability to limit her pregnancies which has a direct influence on her well-being and the outcome of each pregnancy. Then comes preconception care, that is, care of the woman before she conceives is another important aspect of family planning. It can also reduce birth defects disorders due to early or preterm birth. It involves designing a reproductive life plan with a set of goals and actions based on resources and values which act as a decisive factor for when to become pregnant. Family planning services include educating about human immunodeficiency virus, sexually transmitted infection, counseling and testing. Today, more than 200 million women in developing countries who do not want to get pregnant lack access to contraceptives. This is a life and death crisis. Complications in pregnancy and childbirth are a leading cause of death for women around the world. Poverty and the lack of access to family planning awareness lead to higher birth rates and overpopulation. Our population is currently growing at the rate of 80 million people per year. A large part of our overpopulation is exploding in the developing countries, while recent data would suggest that the population should decrease with fertility rates decreasing. This concept is far from the truth. In truth, Total population will continue to grow even after fertility stabilizes for the birth rate outnumbers the death rate.
Family planning is one of the most cost effective public health measures available to developing countries. In August of 1999, India's population became the second in the world to reach 1 billion. Recognizing the need for reducing birth rates, the Indian government has established governmental family planning programs. If the family planning programs are promoted, adapted and implemented well, these women in developing countries can experience new political, economic and social successes. Though the family planning welfare programs has experienced significant growth and modification over the past half century, pregnancies continue to be unplanned and unmet need for contraception remains substantially high. Important subgroups such as adolescents are neglected or underserved. The vast majority of contraceptive users are sterilized. Contraceptive choice is conspicuous by its absence and the quality of care is limited within the program. Although family planning programs in India have improved greatly throughout the country's history, gender inequality rooted in cultural norms continues to cause poor family planning practices nationwide. India's government was one of the first in the world to put into practice a nationalized family program. Only country in the world that has a public policy aimed at reducing birth rate in health sector. In 1915, first effort of improvement was made when a family planning clinic was opened in Mysore. In 1949, first committee was started. Family Planning Association of India and was labelled as leading and largest reproductive and sexual health organisation. By disseminating information and knowledge on family life and sexual sexuality education, it intends to spread awareness about family planning, bringing happiness to millions. With the help of family doctors and professors, the first clinic was opened, Kutumb Sudhar Kendra began with independent clinics and conferences led to 10 consecutive five-year plans ministry of family welfare it deals with almost all aspects associated with family welfare especially considering maternal health reproductive health pediatrics rural health services in cooperation with international aid groups and ngos Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation The aim of this foundation was to spread awareness and circulate the access to high quality contraceptive services, information and supplies to millions of women in the poorest countries without discrimination. United Nations Population Fund is the leading United Nations agency for creating a world where every birth is safe and wanted and every young person's potential is satisfied. It was established in 1969 and supports by supplying contraceptives in emergency situations, training health workers to deliver family planning services efficiently, promoting counseling to women who wish to delay or avoid pregnancy, educating men and women about birth timing and spacing. In 1951, first conference was held in India to discuss family planning. First five-year plan and was under construction during this time, focusing on child welfare and family planning. Topics covered were education in schools, increased number of clinics, access to contraceptives, along with further research. During the 1950s, hospitals and healthcare facilities made birth control information available. The National Population Policy adopted in 1976 stated that a population program aimed at improving poverty in the country was needed to improve success. The National Population Policy provides a framework for achieving the objectives of population stabilization and promoting reproductive health within the wider context of sustainable development. Its goal is to achieve a national average total fertility rate of 2.1 by the year 2010. How to meet these goals? By focusing on areas where fertility declines have been lagging, adolescent reproductive health, 
unintended pregnancy and access to safe abortion, counseling and access to quality services and follow-up care. State Innovations in Family Planning Services Agency, 1996 Health and family planning workers are required to regularly visit households in their assigned area. This program aims to provide information and counsel and motivate women to adopt appropriate health and family planning practices. Contraceptives are su supplied through the government's network of health care facilities and with the assistance of NGOs. For a healthy family, wait three years before your second child. You can get these family planning methods from government health workers, hospitals and health centers for free. This was a small presentation on family planning programs. In the next week, we will we'll discuss about immunity and immunization. Thank you.